Let's talk about the Align to Pixel Grid option in Illustrator CS5 and later. This is really exciting because if you do anything with web, web design, and you're creating objects, content, whatever, you've probably done it before where you, you save for web and devices and it, the edge looks kind of fuzzy. And you're like, well, what's going on? Well, we can take our artwork now and align it or snap it to a pixel grid. I'll show you how to do it for a new document and then I'll show you how to do it for existing artwork. So for a new document, if you go to File, New, and you choose the correct document profile. Now, if we don't do the document profile or you have print selected, it honestly doesn't matter. The, the key here is to come down to Advanced, toggle that open, and you'll see Align New Objects to Pixel Grid. So this is going to say anything we create, any specific vector artwork is going to align to the pixel grid. So I'll click OK. Now to see the pixel grid, you got to turn it on. And you got to zoom in. So I'll go under View, make sure that Pixel Preview is selected or turned on. And this is just to preview it. You don't have to turn it on to actually have it work. I'll go to a, let's say, a rounded rectangle tool and click and drag to draw. And I'll just fill it with some kind of, I don't know, like a red color or something. That's great. And I'll zoom in. So I'll zoom into the corner. And you'll see the pixel grid showing up. Now, if I move around, drag this thing, or use my arrow keys to move it around, it is snapping to the closest available pixel in the grid. And you'll notice it's not a fuzzy edge. You'll also see that if you go to the transform panel, either up in the control panel or here, which is under Window Transform, here's where the selection is. If you turn this thing off, and sometimes if you move this, you'll notice that, hey, it starts to get fuzzy again. We want to make sure, like I said, that everything we create is aligned to the pixel grid if you're doing web work, almost everything. And then if you go out and draw another object, it will automatically do that for you. Now, if you're starting with, let's say, a document that doesn't have it, you didn't set that in the beginning. So let me show you that. I'll go to File, New. And I choose print, but I change the units to pixels. And I'm like, oh, OK, awesome. I got myself a document. I'm ready to go. Let's suppose that this was not turned on. I click OK. I'm going to go create something, like a rounded rectangle or a button or something like that, and then zoom into it and fill it with a color. I'll turn on pixel preview so I can see it. And you'll see it's all fuzzy. If you look right here in the transform panel, what you can do is you can select all your artwork or the artwork you want to snap and come to Transform and choose Align to Pixel Grid, and it will do that for you. The other thing you can do is if you don't want to keep doing that, if you want to keep drawing and creating, but this document doesn't have it set up that way, with nothing selected, if you go to the Transform panel, come to the menu right here, you'll see Align New Objects to Pixel Grid. That's the setting basically for the document. So if I turn that out, nothing selected, and I go create, let's say, something else, a rounded rectangle, automatically going to be created, or aligned rather, to the pixel grid. So that's kind of cool. So you can do it to existing documents. Now as far as, I want to show you symbols. This is kind of interesting. If I go to symbols, and I've got a symbol library open here, I want to drag out a symbol. I'll drag one out. You'll notice that you cannot align a symbol using the transform panel to the grid. You can double click on it and go in and edit it and select its content. And I'll zoom in here so you can see it. And then align that content to the grid. You see it kind of snaps. That's good. You can also do it this way. This is, I think, a little bit easier. Let me double click to deselect. Go back over to the symbol over here. If I double click on it, or when I create it, you're going to see I can fix this thing. And I'm actually, sorry, I'm in, in the library here. I need to go to my symbols panel. My bad. Come over here, you're going to see, if I double click on it, I'm going to edit it. But if I come down here, you'll see this little icon, which says, OK, here are the options for this thing. If you set up a symbol, you create your own, when you create it, you can tell it to align to the pixel grid automatically. If you already have symbols that are existing, you can open those up, the symbol options rather, clicking on the little menu there, there's a couple ways to get there. Turn that on or select that, click OK, and they will automatically snap to the pixel grid as you drag them on the page or put them on the page. So that's kind of cool. Working with the align to pixel grid is a great thing in most cases because it does make it so you don't have the fuzzy edge and life is good. Anyway, there you go. Just want to show you a little bit about Align to Pixel Grid.